How to be high vibe part nine. My name is Lisa Turner from Set Freedom. We are a spiritual and consciousness awakening organization specializing in training professional practitioners. This one is about your use of language. So sometimes we get conditioned into using language in a particular way and it puts us into a kind of victim e modality when actually we're at choice. And there's nothing wrong with choosing to do a particular thing, but just be aware that that's your choice. So an example of this is with money. And of course, around this time of year, for coming up to Christmas, there's a lot of demands on us financially. And we might be tempted to say words and phrases like, I can't afford it. Now, what that does is that tells your mind that, and you, that you can't afford it, you haven't got a lot of money, you're broke or whatever, right? And you may even be saying that. Rather than saying that, you can still choose not to buy the thing, but just change how you say it. So you can just say, no, thank you. Or I choose to spend my money on other things. I choose not to buy that. I choose not to have that. I choose no. Rather than saying, I can't afford it. You can just say, I'm choosing not to, not to spend or invest my money in that way. Now, the other thing is, if you do actually want it, it's a little add on bonus for you here. If you do actually want the thing, but currently your bank account isn't allowing that, you ask the question rather than saying, can I, or, you know, oh, I can't afford it. Oh, I wish I could afford it. Oh, I hope I could manifest the money. Oh, show me the money, which doesn't really work. Instead of what you do is you say, how can I afford that? How can I change my situation so that I can afford that thing that I want? Okay. Now what that does, as soon as you ask your brain questions, your brain starts answering because that's what it loves to do. It loves to solve problems and answer questions. So by asking the question, and may, the answer may not come poof right now. It might come later in the day, several days later, several months later, several weeks later, who knows? But if you keep asking the question, the answer will come. You will figure it out. So first of all, so, so there's your two top tips to stay high vibe and change your language so that it's more empowering. Remember, you're a choice. So Give it a go. Let me know what you think. Click the like and follow button for more top tips on how to stay high vibe, how to get and stay high vibe and post a comment. What did you think? How did you find it? Did it work? What was your experience? Bye for now.